Chosen ones, where you are. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video. And I believe you read the title and you know what this video is about. All right. Great. This video is going to give you understanding of who you are. And when you know who you are, you will stop explaining yourself to people. Right. And that will help you, you know, preserve your time, your energy and your effort and invest that energy, time and attention into your own life to change your very life. All right. Great. Um, as a chosen one. Okay. Not everyone is going to um, understand you. Okay. You are not for everybody. All right. You are a riddle. Do you know riddle? Riddle, riddle, riddle. Right. Great. Not everyone understand a riddle. Some people aren't going to get the answer. Some people are not going to understand. And that is the same way a chosen one's your life is. Okay? Great. So, to make this video a little practical, let me give you an example of riddle. And let's test your intelligence, your understanding of thing okay great um radar radar i am something okay i have two names in one okay children like my first name but hate my second name who am i yes guess it you see you couldn't get it, all right? You, you couldn't get it, okay? And that is the same way you are as a chosen one. A lot of people, many people are not going to understand you. Do you know the answer for the riddle? The answer for the riddle is sugarcane. Sugarcane. Children like the first name, which is sugar, and hate the last name, which is cane. No children like cane. Right? But they like sugar. They like sweet things. Alright? Great. You see, you get it wrong. You couldn't get guess it right. And that is how it is. That is the life of chosen ones. You are not for everybody. Alright? So not everybody is going to understand you. And you need to appreciate that. Okay? Not everybody is going to understand your dream. Not everybody is going to understand your potential that is in you. Not everybody is going to understand your gift that is in you. Not everybody is going to understand the talent that you have been given. Not everybody is going to understand the visions that you have. Not everybody that is going to understand the dreams that you have. Because such dreams, such visions, such gifts such potentials are not given to them they are given to you and only you can understand and even you sometimes as a chosen one you don't understand yourself how much more do you want others to understand you all right this is the reason why some people aren't going to support you all right this is the reason why some people aren't going to support your dreams, your visions, your aspirations, your purpose, your goals, you know, your potentials in life. And you need to appreciate that because sometimes betrayal, disappointment, rejection, disowning, okay, neglecting you is a form of protection for you as a chosen one right so if you are not for everyone and not everyone is going to understand you then you need to establish a very cordial relationship with your creator your maker because it is god that created you so god is the one that understands you as a chosen one for instance the people that create the cars, they create the electronics, you know, gadgets and stuff. They understand what they created. They know the use of what they created. All right. And for someone to understand 
when they create, how to use it. They add what? A manual to it. That is the same way with chosen ones and God. All right? If you don't understand yourself as a chosen one, the best way to understand yourself and know how to use your power that has been put in you, your potential, your gift that has been deposited in you is to read the Bible. If you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, okay, you got to read your Quran. Whatever your religion is, read that religious book that is for your religion. That is going to help you understand yourself. That is going to help you understand the gifts that you carry. That is going to help you to make very good use of the gift, how to use the gift that you have been given by your creator. All right? So, the religious books are your manual. They are life manual to guide you into your purpose, into what you got to do as a chosen one. All right? So, that is it. If you read and you don't understand, go on your knees, pray to your God, all right? And I believe your God, if what you do, you do it in faith, you do it in spirit and in truth, God is not going to hide anything from you. God is going to show you everything, either through your sleep as a revelation, that you will dream, all right, either through, you know, um, receiving some kind of, you know, synchronicities, right, that goes with what you're thinking, that will give you confirmation of what you need to hear, what you need to read, what you need to listen to, you know, and through that, you will understand yourself, you will get an answer to what you're seeking for. What you're searching for, what you're looking for as a chosen one. Right? You need to understand this. Okay? When you understand this, that you are not for everyone, you are not for everybody, you stop pleasing people. You stop to become a people pleaser. But you learn how to please your God. Because you, as a chosen one and God, are majority. You and God are lifting the load together. You are in unison. All right? With your creator. Just look at the lifestyle, the life of Jesus Christ when he was on earth. All right? A lot of people, many people, did not understand him. Even up to now, some people still continue to criticize they don't understand him, his ways, his teachings, his doing, his lifestyle. They don't. And that is the same way people aren't going to understand you as a chosen one, as a chosen child of God. Because you bear the qualities, the traits of your father is in you. So if people don't understand him and they condemn him, they criticize him, they hate him, they ridicule him, they disgrace him publicly naked, you know, for things he has not committed, he has not done any wrong, they did such thing to, to, to him, then they, this world, will do the same to you. All right? Maybe yours may not be nailing you on the cross, but you know what you've been through that has been shameful in your family, in your life, that people laugh at you, that people tease you, that people call you name. That is your laying on the cross. You know yourself best. You know what you've been through so far in life. And that is it. Right? A lot of people aren't going to understand you. And you should know that and understand that today. That you 
are not for everybody. If people come into your life, they won't go, let them go. Don't chase people. Those who are for you, who will stay with you, you will not need to chase them. They will stay with you. Right? So, that's it, chosen ones. You are a reader and you are not for everybody. Not everybody is going to understand you. I believe you understand the message I try to deliver to you. Alright? Stay blessed as a chosen one. See you in the next video. I'm out.